Hi, this is Dr. Heather with Feather Communications. Just coming to you today because I want to give you, a job seeker, some tips for asking questions during an interview. So most of the time, my clients and job seekers go to an interview and they're really nervous about the questions that they're going to be asked. I did an earlier video talking about how to answer, tell me about yourself, and how to answer some of the questions that the interviewers will ask you. However, at the end of the interview, probably the very last question that you will be asked is, what questions do you have for us? So what questions do you have for the employer? And I've always cautioned my clients, don't ask something like, what's your mission statement? Or how much vacation time am I going to get? When's my first day off? Don't ask things like that. Don't ask things that you can easily find out on the company's website. Instead, ask some questions that really allow you to understand the culture and the feel of the company without flat out just asking, what's the culture like here? So here are my four questions that I tell people are perfectly acceptable to ask at the end of the interview. So one of the questions you can ask, the very first one, if you don't already know, is, is this a newly created position or did somebody leave? Maybe somebody retired. That gives you a sense of, you know, somebody retired after being in that position for 20 years, it's probably a pretty stable company and a pretty stable position. Are people leaving that position every other year, every six months? Does it have a high turnover? Again, you're not asking, hey, does this job have a high turnover rate? But you're asking, why is this position open? Is this a newly created position? Also, if it is a newly created position, that tells you that probably the company is growing and you get to make that position your own. So that could be exciting also. The next question that I tell people you can ask, and I've actually asked this in the past, is asking the interviewer, what's your favorite part about working here? What do you like about coming to work every day? If you ask that and that person doesn't have a response, you know, pretty quickly, I kind of start to worry about that and think, oh, maybe this isn't the best place to work. Maybe, you know, they're just not thinking quickly. Who knows? But they should be able to tell you pretty quickly why they like working there. It's creative. It's innovative. It's fast paced. They like the people they work with. Whatever the case might be, it's always good to know what the favorite part of that person's job is and understanding that they also enjoy working there. Another question that you can ask, which really you can kind of twist back to you during the interview, is if you could design the ideal candidate for this position, what would be that person's top three strengths? That really gives you an idea of what they're looking for in that job, and whatever they say, somehow related back to you. Well, I understand that you're looking for somebody that really brings creative ideas to the table, Here's an example of how I did that in a previous position. So this gives you just another opportunity to be able to somehow trace back those strengths and those skill sets to you and why you're the right person for the job. That's actually my favorite question. And again, is the question to ask is, if you could design the ideal candidate for this particular position, what would be that person's top three strengths? That really gives you an idea of exactly what they're looking for. The last question that I think it's okay to ask is when do you anticipate making a hiring decision? You're not looking for, oh, we're going to decide on Friday at two o'clock. You're not looking for anything really, really concrete, but just getting some sort of idea. If they say within the next two weeks, we're really looking to make a hiring decision, that gives you an idea of when to follow up. Obviously, you're going to follow up immediately after the, after the interview with either an email thank you or personally, I like the handwritten thank you better um, or a combination of both. The more times you can get in front of them, the better off you are. But if you don't hear from them within a week or week and a half and you know that they were going to be making a decision within about two weeks, it's perfectly okay to follow up with a phone call, definitely. So that's the last question. Again, when do you anticipate making a hiring decision? I'm actually gonna put the questions in the comments here so that you have them if and when you're going on a job interview and you're like, I don't know what questions to ask. And one of the worst things you can do is not have any questions at all. 
So make sure you can either take one or two of those. You don't have to use all four, but just make sure you do have some questions because when you do, it shows that you're interested in the position also. So I will put those in the comments. As always, if you have any questions for me, you can send me a private message or you know, put those in the comments or send me an email. I'd be happy to help. So once again, this is Dr. Heather with Feather Communications. Thank you.